greetings to you once again in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again I am back through Grace Television Studio. I am really happy to share the word of God to you this evening. I hope the previous edition was a blessing to you. And we are definitely praying for you that God would intervene in your life and to bless you abundantly. So today I like to take on the scripture before me getting into the word of God. I just like to pray with you and from there we go on. So let's bow down just for a second and look up to our father. Let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the wonderful things that you have been doing in our lives until this minute. Lord, we thank you for all the things that you have performed through us and in us. We give you all the glory, Lord. As we meditate your word this evening, let your blessing come upon the people who are watching this. Fill us with your fresh fire and anointing to walk further to bring this world into Father's presence. I commit each and every one into your mighty hands. Spirit of God, be in control. Take us through to glorify your name. We thank you for all the things that you're doing. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So it's, I'm very happy that I'm sharing the word to you this evening. I like to meditate from the epistle of Titus. Paul writes to him, just a verse from the Bible. And I like to pray for you. So the book of Titus, chapter 2, verses 11, says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. It's a grace of Father that brings salvation. We cannot receive salvation through our deeds, through charity, through our performance or anything that belongs to us. The salvation comes through the grace of God. That's what Paul says to Titus. Grace of God that brings salvation. It is only the grace of God that brings salvation in our life. So this evening as you watch this program, just think about yourself. Have you been saved? Do you know about Jesus? Have you inherited the blessing which God has for us? And this evening I like to share on the topic which says Grace of God. I live today is because of the grace of God. All the help which comes to us, it is because of grace of God. The health which I have is because of grace of God. And I am sitting in this studio is because of grace of God. It's not my ability, my strength. And it's not just prayer or anything else. It is grace of God. 
all these things added together god is performing his will to be done that's why paul writes to titus he tells for the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all men salvation is to all men all people who call upon the name of the lord if you are not received this salvation right now as i am speaking call upon the name of lord ask jesus to intervene in your life ask jesus to come into your life once you give place that jesus to come into your life everything changes the spirit of god changes everything in your life your attitude your character your daily living your situations all problems and all things that you carry changes once you allow god into your life you will be led successfully furthermore to receive abundance in your life so the 12th verse says about once this grace of god comes to your life once the salvation comes into your life we have few things that to be taken care of in the verse 12 titus chapter 2 verses 12 it says teach us that teaching us that denying ungodliness you have to be godly you have to be godly come away from the worldly things that has been bounding you for many years allow god to come into your life make god your savior your salvation your fort and everything whatever you call him once he comes into your life i previously said everything changes so you have to be godly it says denying ungodliness if you want to be a god saved life if you want to live a god saved life you have to deny ungodliness which is not pleasing to god your anger is not pleasing to god the way you commit sin doesn't please god the way you speak about others doesn't please god you have to be a god pleaser not man pleaser you have to understand that you have to be a god pleaser when you please god everything follows you everything follows you my dear friends i definitely say everything follows you when you please god that is what paul says here denying ungodliness you have to deny it share your love share your relationship friendship everything with your friends but in a godly manner not in a ungodly manner you can be with the people of this world but you cannot do as they do they have to see your good deeds and they have to change themselves as god leads you that is the way that god is really wanted in you that is what the bible says so teaching us that he is teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we are living in a lustful world wherever you see whichever corner you turn there's lust all around but bible says you have to deny worldly lust you have to deny it that's what when sin came in search of joseph the bible says joseph took off from there he just ran away 
he doesn't want to please the women who came behind him he was a god pleaser god raised him above everything he was in authority until his death i want you to remember if god wants to deal with your life live a pleasing life to god and he will surely lift you up that you will be a light in the world you will be shining in the dark places you will be a blessing for many as you walk not only in your life everything changes in and around as you walk around people will see a great light in you demons will flee cripples will walk blind will see deaf will hear dumb will speak the lame will walk the dead will rise it is not one day that jesus has done jesus says whoever believes in me will do greater things than i do so this is the promise of god if all these things have to come in your life you have to deny ungodliness and worldly lust live a pleasing life to god and that's how it has been shaped once you live a life according to god god promotes you everywhere and you will be a product of god you will be in the hands of god a using vessel by god that is how god blesses his people and next he speaks about we should be soberly when i speak about soberly i went through different translations where it says when it comes to soberly it says live sensible a sensible life another translation for soberly is sensible and you when you get into other things it teaches about us properly live properly rule yourself properly rule your own self properly so that is what soberly means so he says we should live soberly righteously and godly in the present age in the age where we are living right now things happening wrong around the world around your place your town your city your country or the whole world where you travel things are not according to the word of god but still you have to be a man and a woman of god one person can change everything upside down if you live according to the will of god it is not only by prayer you have to carry the fire and anointing of god as you travel around things should change where you are traveling all these things are going to happen when you live a life according to the will of god that is what paul says deny ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in the present age in the present age my friends god will definitely strengthen you there's nothing impossible with god when you give yourself to god and that is how he handles it i want you to understand when you wake up every day in the morning say a small word of prayer open your mouth not from your heart your heart speaks i don't tell no but still open out your mouth and say father i thank you for the last night and the life which you have given me today before your feet it's the ground give yourself to god ask him 
Lord, I surrender myself today into your mighty hands. Be in control of me. I commit me and all that belongs to me into your mighty hands. Just say a word. We have thousands of angels circled around us. If your eyes are open, you can see chariots around you. The angels, the guarding angels, the angels from God above are surrounded his people to protect them from all evil forces. But the decision is up to us. The evil forces wait and godly forces wait. As you wake up in the morning, surrender yourself to God. As God to intervene in your life that day, you will be victorious. So when you surrender yourself, you will deny ungodliness, you will deny worldly lust, and you will live a soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. Your words, your actions, your vision, your attitude, your presentation, your way of living, your way of sitting and standing, your way of talking, everything changes. God deals each and everything into your life. So I like to encourage you this evening. Commit your ways to the Lord. Commit it. Trust God. Believe Him. I believed in God. I am, and I am put in the present situation. We are about to reach the world. Tell gospel to the world. Show Jesus. And that is how we go. God has been good to me. And he will be good to you. Trust God. Hold on to what he tells. Hold on to his grace. It appears to all men. And he will bless you abundantly. Trust God. Whatever your situations may be. Whatever the medical records may be, whatever your business situation may be, you might serve Lord in a ministry. Whatever your situations might be, trust God. He will never leave you nor forsake you. you he will bless you in abundance to glorify His name. So keep in mind, Denying ungodliness, worldly lust, and we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. This is what God tells you today. Start your day with a blessing. End your day with a blessing. When God is with you, He takes care of each and everything. We are continually praying for you. Remember us in your prayer me and all my God-given children. We all pray for you. Continue to pray. So before closing down today, I like to have a word of prayer with you today. So let's bow down and ask God by His grace to strengthen each one of you. And definitely you will see a change in your life. I again strongly recommend trust Jesus trust God things will definitely change before me closing down I like to tell one example and just this close this down for today I just want to tell you once I had been to a town to preach in a church after the church sermon got over the church pastor, when he took me out for dinner, he told me, Brother, we have to meet a patient who is admitted in the hospital. They require our prayer. He requested me, can you come with me? I said, yes, I'm here to pray. So we both joined and went into the hospital. 
he was taken to the second floor he was kept in the icu ward intensive care unit and they allowed nobody inside the ward so there was a small glass where we can peep and see him so when i saw him there was no action in his body i don't know who was he then his wife came to me crying and said brother is my husband suddenly in the bus stop he collapsed life is there but they tell he is in the last stage they couldn't find anything but nothing is coming into action so they put all kind of wire around him the trips the ecg missions and everything around him so that doctor was a christian so i went up to him and i said doctor can i can you allow me for a few minutes i just wanted to pray over him he said oh yes but don't make any sound just softly pray and come back so i was given an apron the hospital shut i just went inside that icu intensive care it and beside and behind that cot there was a nurse who was monitoring the ecg of this man i don't know who was he as soon as i went there the spirit of god told me not to pray i was amazed hearing that and god said open the scriptures and read something from that so i turned my book to psalms as the spirit of god guided me i knelt down beside where the head of that man was placed all around him there were tubes and wires i was just little away and frightened also just kept my bible and i started reading from psalms 1 into the years of that man i kept on reading around 2 to 3 chapters the nurse behind the screen came running and said what did you do i was really afraid and said i didn't i didn't touch anything i'm just reading the word of god only that he could hear it he said i am the nurse monitoring him from when he was admitted here there was no change in the ecg mission but now changes are coming continue it i was really happy and amazed i read up till few scriptures and it was lit I just wanted to get out and I got out from the hospital ward I told the wife the same thing read the scriptures keep on reading it if you feel tired as some of your relatives to just read don't pray don't scream don't do anything just speak the word of god in his ear and I went away from the hospital Next day morning I had a first session in the church and the pastor called me said we have to visit the hospital again So I just was very eager to know what happened to this man So when we went to the hospital the man was already seated and he was having a spot Hallelujah The word of God brings life into the dead people the same word of god will bring life into your situations whatever your situations may be i challenge you today meditate on the word of god your bones your nerves your tissues your blood veins your heart and all the things that is set in a human body hears what god says and unimaginable strength will overtake you commit your ways 
deny ungodliness worldly lust live soberly righteously and in godly in the present age commit your ways god will bless you let's have a word of prayer precious heavenly father i speak to the people who are viewing this right now as i speak to them spirit of god fill them right now where they are bless them abundantly keep them away from all evil desires bless them abundantly o lord i reject all the failures in life i reject all the medical records which speak against them i reject all that they have lost in jesus name let your mighty hand come upon them heal them load them with your benefits and give them a new confidence uphold them with your mighty hand to walk with you i commit each and every one into your mighty hands i thank you for hearing me this day thank you for doing a great change in the life i commit each and every one into your mighty hands in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen dearly beloved god is in control have confident have belief have faith god will definitely heal you change all your failures into success you will have a good life god bless you if you like to call us speak to us we have a number in the screen contact me through facebook we will be praying for you have a nice day bye bye